One of life's mysteries, exactly how much food you feed your dog in a day. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell that's on it for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. I used to get asked this question a lot, like how much do I feed, right? Is there like some type of guideline? You look it up on the internet, seems like you're told 10 different things. So I'm gonna give you my rough outline, how I basically figure it out for most dogs, give you a bit of a guideline, and then how you can go about adjusting it. Number one, we've got our dry kibble. A general dry kibble amount, and if you look at most food bags, they pretty much follow this guideline. It is about one and a half cups of the dry kibble for 20 pounds of body weight daily. This here is our one half a cup measuring spoon. That would be the amount Tula would eat in an entire day. I suggest breaking your dog's feeding schedule up into two feedings. So she would be getting half of this. That would be three quarters of a cup twice a day. If your dog weighs 40 to 50 pounds, that would be more like three cups in total per day. What about the canned food, you may be wondering? Little Tula, she's 20 pounds. If she were to solely eat canned food, she would eat one can of food a day, on average. Is your yummy canned food, Tula? Oh, if only she ate this canned food every day. Yum, yum. Oh, it's the cage-free turkey formula. Mm, she smells kinda tasty. Say we wanted to mix and match, we wanted to feed some kibble, some canned food, just half them. So you'd be feeding, instead of this one and a half cups of dry kibble, so here's three quarters of a cup of kibble. We're gonna take away half of this canned food. About a half a can of food. There it is, two of those measured amount. Three quarters of a cup of kibble, half a can of food. That's the amount you'd be eating throughout the day. If she were an average, active, you know, 20-ish pound dog. Let's go crazy here. What about making her own food? And how do we figure that out? It's gonna be a good day for you, isn't it? With any of the homemade diets you're making for your dog, I always suggest making one third of a good quality animal protein. In this instance, we're dicing and slicing up a steak, so a good quality beef one third of a healthy carbohydrate. And in this instance, we're using brown rice, along with one third of a cup of veggies. We're using a combination of carrots and spinach, some oil uh, to fry up the veggies, uh, the beef. So I'm using two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Stir fried the beef and the carrots and the spinach. Let's see how much this makes. Should be pretty close. Looks, Tula's already, hey, Tula, just wait a second. Should be pretty close to two cups. Carrots, the beef, some for me, some for Tula. One cup of our brown rice that equates to two half cups. Last but not least, the ultimate canine. I'm gonna do one scoop of my supplement to get this thing extra tasty and healthy. So this is three cups, just under three cups. How much of this homemade diet are you feeding? Similar to the kibble, about one and a half cups to two cups for 20 pounds of body weight daily. So this is about the amount Tula would get in a 24 hour period. You know, I would split this up into two meals. Typically if I'm gonna be feeding her twice a day. A couple of key points. Number one, it's just a rough guide. This is going to vary based on your dog's body condition score. Are they overweight? Are they underweight? How active are they? What stage are they in their growth life cycle? Puppies, for instance, they're gonna require twice as much on average. Little Tula happened to be pregnant. She would have the cutest little puppies. She would be getting almost three times that amount. These guys that are really active, they're burning through the calories. Tula, she's a super active dog. You know, on average, I'm actually feeding her above uh, the suggested feeding guidelines. I encourage you to assess your dog's body condition score I want you to easily palpate your dog's ribs. You just want to have a loose covering here over the ribs. If there's nothing there, the ribs are easily palpable, your dog's a little bit thin. If there's a heavy covering and you're finding a hard time finding the ribs, your dog's slightly overweight. 
Then you're gonna have to modify the food. You're gonna increase the amount or decrease the amount. But it really is up to you monitoring your dog fairly regularly, assessing them as far as what is their body condition score? Are they overweight? Are they underweight? How active are they? Are they always seemingly starving and hungry? All right, if so, then maybe you're gonna have to increase the amount. But if they've gained a whole lot of weight, you can't palpate those ribs anymore. You can probably go to a dog that's overweight, which seems to affect over 50% of our canine population. Potentially, then you're gonna have to feed less. I hope that's given you a better idea as the amount you should be feeding your dog. Kibble, we're going for one and a half cups for 20 pounds of body weight daily. If it's solely just canned food, it's one cup for 20 pounds of body weight daily. A home diet, but one and a half to two cups for 20 pounds of body weight daily. Good news for Tula and me, I'm hungry, it's lunch. Our video is over. Yummy, it's time for snacking. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of knowing exactly how much you should be feeding your dog. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.